Hey, Brother Roy here, Old School Bible Baptist Ministries. I have recently been asked in my comments section to do a video on the Queen James Bible. Yeah, you heard me right. There is such a thing. So uh, uh, let's talk about it. But we better pray first. Amen. Father, thank you for Jesus. Oh, Lord, thank you for the blood that was shed. Thank you for Calvary. Thank you for salvation, God. And uh, Lord, thank you so much for your precious book. Thank you for your King James Bible. Every single word preserved by divine providence we have and hold in our hand. Thank you, Jesus. Your very words. Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Okay. So first of all, let me say, I do not have a Queen James Bible to show, to hold up <laughs> and to show you because I am not giving them <laughs> two cents of my money. <laughs> Amen. I won't buy one. But hey, uh, uh, I did look up some stuff uh, on YouTube. Uh, I got some good information from uh, from another brother that uh, uh who is really probably probably not our King James Bible believing crowd, but uh, he did a good video uh, uh, on the thing, and so I got some information from him, and uh, uh, just share you a little bit about what this thing is. Uh, listen, I love uh, the Bible, Amen. And if you know me, you know Brother Roy. Brother Roy loves the King James Bible, so uh, I take it kind of personal with somebody. Uh, Attacks this book, changes this book, alters this book, corrupts this book, perverts this book. <laughs> Amen. All right. Because I love the Bible. Amen. You can tell I love the Bible. Uh, you know, some guys collect guns. <laughs> I collect I collect swords. Amen. I collect the sword of the spirit. I collect Bibles. Uh, you know, it's been a real blessing. Uh, May 3rd will be three years out of prison. And, uh, you know, I, I had my, my old Ruckman reference Bible that Dr. Ruckman sent me when I was in prison. And I mean, this is this is my Bible. It's got a decade of all my notes, sermon notes and underlining and study notes. And this is my this is if hey, if the whole world was burning down, I could only go gra in and grab one one material possession. This is what I'd grab. But uh, hey, it's it's nice to be out here where I where I get a few more too. <laughs> Amen. So praise God. All right, the Queen James Bible. All right, so this book, the Queen James Bible, and hey, you ready for this? It's it's actually printed right here in Las Vegas, Nevada, Sin City. Go figure. All right, so basically what it is. It's the text of the King James Bible. And somebody, we'll get into that later, somebody went in to uh, like eight verses, <laughs> the big eight, the eight verses where the word of God is very clear about the abomination that is sodomy. And they just went in and tweaked the verses so they didn't read like that anymore. All right, it's, you know, a hey, Burger King, have it your way. Amen. So uh, it's done in Vegas. Uh, it's about 10 years old. And the first thing you notice when you when you pick it up and look at it, it's very lazy in construction. It's a bad copy and paste job. Uh, it's it, there. There there are no there are no headings uh, of chapter book headings on the pages it all just it runs on and in the middle of a page it'll switch from one book of the bible to the next book of the bible uh there are many uh spelling errors uh you get over to uh, uh the book of revelation and it's the uh uh it's it and they have in there on their chapter having not revelation it's revelations they throw an s on there and they say it's the revelation of Saint John the Divine, sp spelled D E V I N E instead of D I V I N E. I mean, it the production on the thing. It's a straight, cheap piece of garbage hack job uh, that you know somebody's quick little copy and paste. Because they and they put then they put a few little notes at uh, you know at like at the bottom of the page uh, of these verses 
that they changed, uh, you know, just promoting their agenda a little bit. But other than that, it's just <laughs> copy, paste, reprinted King James Bible. Uh, so uh, let's look at, okay, so they, they, uh, they call themselves editors, not translators. They say, we the editors. And they, uh, uh, they claim that uh, they talk about scholars, including us. Uh, and the thing is that uh, uh, they're completely anonymous. Uh, you can't find their name. You can't go to the website and find their names. You can't find who these scholars were, who did this translation. There's nobody named. There's no credentials or nothing like that. Uh, but what uh, they call themselves editors. Now, editors... Now you look at a study Bible. You look at you look like the board of editors for the Schofield Study Bible. Uh, editors do not touch the text of the Scripture themselves. The editor's job is to deal with the uh, the commentary, the layout, the heading, the maps, the helps. The you know that's editing. That's putting it all together. Uh, a, an editor of a study Bible or any Bible doesn't go in and change the Bible text. But so these guys these guys call themselves editors, but what they did was go in and change the Bible text. So that's crazy in and of itself. But uh, doing a deep dive, and the guy that did this is a guy guy named Mike Winger. Uh, he's got a YouTube channel. Um, and like I said, I, he's, pro he's probably not a King James Bible believer, but uh, he did a good job on this. He, went a, he did a deep dive, and he's way more of a techie than I am. And uh, he found that these same folks back in 2005 – they did a, a Queen James Bible, but it wasn't a serious attempt at making what, what the website says. It says this is a gay Bible. That's what their website calls the, the one that's out now, this Queen James Bible. It is a gay Bible where they have eliminated the possibility of homophobic interpretation is what they say. They've went in and edit it in such a way that no one reading it could get a homophobic interpretation of the scripture. Those are their words. But back in 2005, they did a Queen James Bible that was a parody of our Bible. And what it was, it was just a ridiculous comedic parody full of gay pornogra pornographic rewriting of the scriptures it was a joke all right so then then and, and that's where you can find their names and it's a it's a guy named danny and a guy named matt in england and one of them sells doors and one of them is a chemistry student and uh and they did this comedic monty python gay sex bible back in the day now now this one this this Queen James Bible that was done 10 years ago, the one we're talking about that's being marketed as supposedly a legitimate Bible. Uh, now, this one they're coming it, it, seriously with. All right. But but that's the people. And uh, and that's where it comes from. That that that's that's what they're doing. So there there have been no scholars involved in this thing. And just a, you know, a quick going through of it, you just see uh, 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 what I watched on, on there. It, it's just, a, it's a hack job. It's a piece of garbage. It's it's just low labor, low rent, uh, low quality. Uh, it, it, and it, like I said, it's just to push an agenda. And they just went in and changed like eight verses of the Bible. Now, of course, uh we're not going to go through and look at them all. And the video I saw, he didn't look at them all. He just looked at uh, Romans chapter one. And we'll talk about that a little bit, but I'll just give you right quick. You can, you can uh, write them down, uh, pause the videos or whatever. But if you're going, you know, to go to those places where the Bible's very clear that sodomy is abomination, uh, some places that, that, that I would go would be uh, Genesis 2.24, Leviticus 18.22, Leviticus 20 and 13, Ezekiel 16, 49 and 50, 1 Corinthians 6, 9 through 11, Matthew 19, 4 through 6, Mark 10, 6 through 9, 1 Timothy 1, 10, and of course, where we're going to look at Romans chapter 1 and verse 26. All right? So, 
reading in Romans chapter 1, in the Bible, amen, uh, uh, God says uh, uh, they, that they who changed the truth of God into a lie and worshiped and served the creature more than the creator, who is blessed forever, amen. For this cause, God gave them up to vile affections. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another, men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meat. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. All right. So that's that that's just, Paul made that so clear. He made that so plain. Nobody who is actually a Bible scholar or a Bible student, uh, uh, you know, in all of Christian history has ever had a serious uh, problem understanding what that says. There is general agreement across the board. But basically what they go in and do is they change words around uh, and start talking about uh, a pagan and, uh, and, and, and idolatrous. And, and what they do is they, uh, they make the verse about people going to pagan idolatry and make the verse not about human homosexuality. So they just, they take the focus off the, 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 the human sexual interaction and, and, and then the notes at the bottom say this was about a bunch of Christians who left Christianity and went back to pagan practices so <laughs> and idolatry. So that's that's how they put that twist on that. And uh, so that's basically, I'm guessing, what they do with the rest of those verses that they go in and change. And hey, it's just it's just to promote their agenda and probably uh you know that's their agenda and they probably made a couple of bucks off the thing while they were at it amen but uh you know what they did really isn't any worse than what the revi the editors westcott and hort and then the editors of the revised version did it's not any wor worse than what what the niv editors did the the translators of the NIV it's not any worse than what the ESV did or or the the new legacy standard bible did or the amplified bible it's no it's not any worse than what any of those did cuz what did they all do they all went in and changed the words of the book amen and when you change the words of the book you take away authority you take away certainty and you enter in confusion and error, and you take the authority from the words of the book and place the authority on some man who claims to be a scholar, and you've got to come to him and let him tell you what the book says. See, that's why God didn't do it like that. God gave us his perfect word, preserved every single word, so you have a final authority. Because when you stand before the judgment seat of Christ, I firmly believe that what will be open will be a King James Bible, and you will have no excuse. You can't say, God, I didn't know, because God will say, no, you had every single word, a perfect standard, a perfect authority. You had it. Now, whether you chose to believe it and obey it, that's on you, but God would be unjust if he hadn't have given it to us in the first place. I believe that. So, hey, sin of sodomy, hey, it's just one of a long list. Nobody goes to hell for being a sodomite. You don't go to hell for being a drug addict. You don't go to hell for being a thief. You don't go to hell for being a liar. You go to hell for rejecting the gift of God, the grace of God. Salvation is a free gift. 
paid for by the blood of Jesus on Calvary's cross. The only way into heaven is to get your sin taken care of so you can go and be with God. And the only way you get your sin taken care of is have it washed away in the blood of Jesus. In his death, burial, and resurrection, the Lord Jesus Christ paid for all sin for every man, woman, and child that was ever born on the face of this planet once and for all, past, present, and future. And he offers it to you as a free gift. Listen, if you go to, if you go to hell, it won't be because you read a Queen James Bible. It's because you rejected the Lord Jesus Christ. Don't do that. Not when it's free. Not when he loves you like he does. Trust Christ today. I hope this has been informative uh, on a crazy subject, but uh, I was asked to do a few minutes on it, and that's what we've done. It gave me a chance to preach the gospel a little bit too. So I hope that was a blessing to you. God bless you. We'll see you in the next one.